What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you with another YouTube video. So, here we are in the National Network Worldwide Syndicated Sunday morning. Thought I'd kick off today, this morning, with uh, some crypto news. Kind of just highlighting what's going on out there in the space today. Because I like talking about the news, what's going on. And um, just surveying the land of crypto, all right? This is not the crypto platform uh, sort of death watch videos I've been doing, but just more of just crypto in general, right? So we're just going to take a look at what's going on. This is a Crypto Muscle OG channel, right, that's published on. Also uh, another channel, the one they've known for the last couple of years now, Crypto Muscle Network. So those are the two channels you got going on. United as one, the band's back together. So let's just get to the news right now. All right, so Binance partners with law enforcement agencies to launch anti-scam campaign, all right? Okay, okay. A uh, Fed official says additional rate increases are required to cool prices. Let's see, additional rate increases. I guess interest rate <laughs> will cool off inflation. I mean, it's all bad. It's just all bad. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, it just sucks. Uh, Bybit Crypto Exchange suspends USD deposits via bank transfer. Huh. These are some uh, interesting things going on here. All right. Uh, what else we got going on? All right, so that's it there. Yeah, it's just weird. We're, we're at times right now, but I still think we're in a bear market for the foreseeable future. There's no way we're going to be you know, going bull run anytime soon. So I hope that you guys don't have your hopes and dreams that we're on a, we're going to be starting a bull run anytime, but because we're not. Uh, let's see here. Highest token growth rates in different niches. As we can see, DeFi and GameFi are still popular. Tokens belonging to them are giving out very good percentages. Well, there you go. So you got De GameFi and DeFi are two of the hottest ones here. All right, so a lot of this stuff I've never even heard of. <laughs> All right, let's see, infrastructure. Nope, none of those. Service. I mean, you know, I heard of Fetch AI. Tornado Cash. Uh, yeah, that's about it there. Velo, I might have heard. Um, yeah, so that's it there. All right, let's see what else we got going on. Top 10 projects by t total volume uh, gr liquidity growth in February. So let's take a look at what we got there. Uh, oh, okay, look at that. Hex has grown. By the way, I'll be doing a Hex video today. I don't know why there's any growth in it when there's no, uh, I mean, there's just no pulse chain. So what's the point? But let's just keep going. Stablecoin, what is it and why it's needed? The extreme volatility of cryptocurrencies is the main reason for the caution of investors who do not want to invest in, every, in a very promising industry. The solution to the problem can be stablecoin, a special type of asset that is not subject to excessive inflations and all that stuff. All right, so um, it reminds me of the days when we were doing smart contracts and um, there was a particular smart contract. I can't think of the name of it, but... They started coming out with the stable coin or stable dollar on a smart contract, which was un it was kind of unheard of at the time. Oh, Pyrobank. I think it was that first one. I remember it was Pyrobank. And um, they were they came out with a stable coin. And I remember at first it was kind of like, you know, what's the point? You know, there's no uh, volatility to see growth. It's just so stable that it kind of sucked, <laughs> you know. I mean, it just wasn't right for the smart contract times, but that's where it kind of started. And then platforms over time later on started implementing stablecoin as like USDT, for example, or, or uh, I mean, I think the only ones I've really seen early on, like the hypes and all that, they had a uh, pay year, they had um, perfect money. So that was kind of like their version of the stablecoin because it was technically real US dollars being put into those platforms before USDT and USDC started kind of 
paving their way into platforms itself. So that's kind of interesting how that, how that transpired o over that time. When back then it was just all about, well, tokens, right? They took your your real crypto for tokens, and that got played out. So um, yeah, it was just funny how that got all played out. And people got tired of that bullshit. Is that right? No more, no more shit coins. It's all about, uh, it's all about just Bitcoin only, right? Or, or just real crypto in and <laughs> no shit coins. You know, people started learning. So, uh, let's see here. What's going on here? Why is there a sharp drop? So yeah, there was a recent sharp drop in crypto from, uh, 23 to, it touched 21 before going back into 22,000. So friends of a lot of people saw today a sharp drop in BTC. So they are looking at it as these are the reasons why, all right? The fall was provoked by the uncertainty surrounding a large California crypto bank, Silvergate, whose shares fell 58% during trading in the U.S. on Thursday. So Silvergate Bank allows cryptocurrency exchanges and other customers to exchange cryptocurrency for fiat money and also play an important role in providing market liquidity. Coinbase suspends payments to Silvergate as well. SEC says cryptocurrency exchanges are not safe. Well, duh, it's never been safe. <laughs> uh, Crypto.com suspends payments to Silvergate. FTX confirms 8.9 billion missing. Cryptocurrencies lose 200 million in a few hours. Wow, so all that stuff was going on, and that's played into why Bitcoin dropped over the past day. Now, let's take a look at what they got right now. So right now you can still see it's down. Uh, it's still 22.4 right now, but yeah, I touched into like 21.5 I believe, before we kind of bounced back up to 22.4. So that's what happened there. Uh, let's see, little pump taps into the Grand Theft Auto metaverse. Okay, Ethereum-based NFT trade volumes surpass 18 or sorry, 1 billion. I think it was 18. One billion for the first time since May 2022. Okay. Let's see, Binance AI powered NFT generator reaches minting cap in two and a half hours. So CZ, the CEO of Binance, announced the introduction of a new fungible token platform infused with AI Wednesday. Uh, according to the data, 9,904 sole owners of Picasso or Bicasso AI collection. All right, so this beta version was only available for 10,000 minutes Thursday. Uh, image of the pilot, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. According to Binance official Twitter, users who missed the 10,000 NFT quota can still register for the full version. All right, so these things were minted within two and a half hours, reaching the minting limit. I'm thinking that if it gets into the wrong hands... This uh, AI power generator can reverse other NFTs and sell it, mint it and sell it quickly. You know, not necessarily for Binance or it could be for Binance, but other NFTs and destroy the NFT industry by pillaging it. If it's utilized in that way, I mean, I, I could see it easily doing that, manipulate it and then go about it doing that way. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that one. But AI is, is slowly taking hold and it, it could be dangerous. Uh, two U.S. senators urges Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg not to let teens access into the metaverse. Why? Is it because of, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Tornado Cash contributor builds new privacy tool and hopes it won't trigger the feds. All right, so Armin, or Amin Soleimani, an early contributor to Tornado, has created a fork that aims to be the better version of the black of the blacklisted Ethereum coin mixer. Uh oh, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. You know, because uh, you know, maybe if they forked it and uh, used it where they don't get caught, then uh, it could be. Oh, it could be a good and bad thing. You know, sometimes you need a mixer to uh, mix things up intentionally for the purpose of, well, shit, this is crypto. But at the same time, I'm not trying to endorse it because it's bad because you don't want to be all mixed up in this thing. And, uh, you know, it's just a, I don't know. It's just a, it, it, 
I can see the intention of good and bad of it, and people use it in a bad way too often, right, for laundering and all that stuff, so I get it. But yeah, let's just move on, all right? So, what else we got going on here? Look at this, in a few minutes, Tether will coordinate with Binance to perform a chain swap, converting. Wow, what is this? So, they're going to convert from Tron to Ethereum ERC-20 for $1.6 billion USDT. The, the Tether total supply will not change during this process. Wow. Um, that's kind of interesting. I wonder why, you know. That's just uh, kind of weird there. There got to be more to that. Uh, X Biden advisor says administration was pushing for a digital dollar. All right. Well, that's going to be the future anyways, regardless if they do it now or later. I think uh, Biden's lost in the sauce. You know, he's kind of up there. You know, Mr. Grandpa himself. And uh, we need something more, I guess, uh, polarizing. If you get, if you catch my drift. To uh, get into office that can, uh, you know, take and, uh, I guess you say, with open arms to crypto. And, hey, you never know. That time can come sooner than later. But it's not during this presidency. <laughs> right? So, um, let's see here. SEC chair says uh, crypto exchanges may not be qualified custodians. Man, this guy, the SEC and this Gensler guy is some trouble. He's all, he's clamping down all kinds of crap. And uh, it just kind of ruins it for everybody. Ruining the fun. And that sucks. Uh, let's see. Coinbase buys crypto asset manager One River and, and bet on institutional demand. All right, whatever. Bankrupt crypto lender Celsius reopens withdrawals for certain custody accounts. All right, whatever. <laughs> uh, e -E EU keeps focus on NFTs in the latest anti-money money laundering bill draft. Ah, man. Sooner or later, man, there's going to be so much restrictions on this. It's not going to be no fun anymore in crypto. Maybe only uh, trading. Well, trading will probably be the only way to go in the future. But we'll see, you know, when that time comes, you know. So I'm setting myself up good. Record 67% of Bitcoin supply hasn't moved in at least a year. Wow. Maybe because it's just a bear market and people understand that, well, shit, you don't sell, you don't sell your crypto in a bear market, right? You hold on to it. And I think people are wising up and more aware of it now. And that's what that means there to me. Uh, Silvergate Bank to release nearly 9.9 .9 million to BlockFi. Silvergate suspends Silvergate Exchange Network. <laughs> uh, Bybit halter, you know that. All right, so interesting stuff there. Man, it's crazy times, great times. Um, let's see here. What else we got going on? Bitcoin bears may still be a bit early, though. Caution urged. Well, yeah. We've been in a bear market for the longest time. Um... But the massive sell-off, all right, so we we know why there's a big sell-off in Bitcoin recently. And uh, don't forget about Mount Gox, all right? That reminds me, I did see some Mount Gox news. I just don't know where what happened to it. I can't find it right now. But there's some Mount Gox news. I think some people are going to start getting paid pretty soon. So that's pretty interesting. And uh, there's another headline, too, that I can't find anymore. But the Mormons, all right, I want to throw that out there. Mormons. We're trying to get into crypto and all that stuff and take profit, right? Religion, as you know, is not a, you know, it's usually supposed to be non-profit, right? Everything that they do, everything about religion and the guise of religion. And, uh, and they're taking advantage of their, you know, 503 because they can't get taxed. And, you know, everything's in religion, is non-profit, but yet they're doing all this hidden you know, undercover stuff with crypto, man, that is just so diabolical. And, uh, <laughs> that's so anti-religion too, man. And Mormons, whew, guys are weirdos. All right, so that's the latest. By the way, my ex, years ago, is a Mormon.
Well, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But anyhow, comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.